The Harbin Z-20 represents a medium-lift utility helicopter of Chinese origin. It is essentially a Chinese replication of the UH-60 Black Hawk helicopter, and it has earned the informal nickname, Copy Hawk. This next-generation utility helicopter project was initiated in China during the late 1990s, a collaborative effort involving the AVIC China Helicopter Research and Development Institute, Harbin Aircraft Industry Group, and Changha Aircraft Industries Corporation, which are the key players in China's helicopter manufacturing sector. Nonetheless, progress on this endeavor was hampered by the prioritization of the Z-10 attack helicopter and various technical obstacles, including challenges in securing appropriate engines. Subsequently, the project gained momentum around 2010, culminating in the maiden flight of AZ-20 prototype in 2013. Throughout 2016, the helicopter remained in the testing phase, but by 2017, images emerged featuring the People's Liberation Army Air Force PLAAF, insignia on the helicopter, possibly indicating its entry into operational service. As of 2019, there was confirmation of mass production of the Z-20. Once a significant quantity becomes available, the Z-20 has the potential to replace the existing fleet of Russian Mi-17 helicopters operated by the PLAAF. Additionally, variants of the Z-20 designed for maritime operations were also developed. The Z-20 helicopter draws inspiration from the Sikorsky S-70, a fundamental military utility helicopter employed by the U.S. Army under the name UH-60 Black Hawk. The original Black Hawk has found widespread use internationally. There was a reported agreement wherein Sikorsky omitted the Chinese production of civilian S-70C-2 helicopters for non-military purposes. However, indications suggest that China may have violated this agreement. The PLAAF has operated civilian Sikorsky S-70C-2 helicopters since 1984, obtaining a total of 24 units. Deliveries ceased in 1989 due to imposed sanctions. The Z-20's inaugural flight occurred nearly three decades after China's acquisition of the original Sikorsky S-70 helicopters. In terms of capacity, the Z-20 helicopter can accommodate approximately 12 to 15 fully equipped troops and possesses a payload capability of around 5,000 kg. Internally, it can carry up to 1,000 kg, while externally, it can manage up to 4,000 kg. The helicopter is equipped to transport various loads externally, including vehicles and artillery pieces. Weaponization of the utility helicopter is possible, featuring provisions for machine guns and potentially other armaments like anti-tank and air-to-air -air missiles, or unguided rocket pods. A forward-looking infrared-slash-television, FLIR-slash-TV, turret is positioned on the nose. Distinguishing the Z-20 from the Black Hawk are a few minor disparities. Notably, the Z-20 boasts a five-blade rotor as opposed to the Black Hawk's four-blade design. Some components, such as the rotor and engines, are shared with the Z-10 attack helicopter. There is speculation that the Z-20 is powered by Pratt & Whitney Canada PT-6C, 76C turboshaft engines or possibly WZ-10 turboshafts, each generating around 2,400 sha. Sources suggest that the development of a new transmission system may have received assistance from Eurocopter. The basic utility helicopter can be adapted to fulfill various military roles. Variants of the Z-20 include the Z-20F, designed for anti-submarine warfare, the Z-20J, a shipborne transport and assault transport variant, and the Z-20KS, a shipborne search and rescue variant, which was publicly showcased in 2023.